ourselves in a situation where our feelings get the best of us and we're triggered by whatever external thing is happening and then we react in a way that we don't actually want to respond in this way but we're kind of overtaken by our triggers. There's basically three steps that you can take whenever you're feeling triggered to reprogram whatever beliefs are standing in your way so that you're able to be more in control of your reactions and respond from a place of peace and calm instead of reacting so abruptly from a trigger, which really has nothing to do with you. A trigger is something that we've developed because of our past experiences or because of the people around us and the examples that we have. You can control these things. This isn't something that has to take control over you. You are able to make the decision and say, you know what, this is what it is, let me fix it. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Patty and I love talking about all things mindset, wellness, and manifestation. So if those are topics that interest you, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications for more. The first step in reprogramming your triggers is acknowledging the trigger. If you are taking the position of feeling guilty and feeling angry at yourself anytime you're triggered, you're not going to be able to solve it. First, you have to acknowledge when you're feeling triggered. That is not a bad word. It is not something that you need to be ashamed of or scared of as long as you're able to acknowledge and be aware as to what exactly you're feeling and why are you feeling this way. Maybe you can trace it back to a certain event. Maybe you can say, oh, I'm feeling triggered right now because so-and-so did this to me so many years ago and that left a trigger and so now anytime i see a similar behavior to that i respond as if that's happening again because remember when you're getting triggered your body is remembering something that happened or remembering some kind of pattern and it's mentally taking you to that place as if the original trauma was happening all over again So sometimes these triggers are valid. Sometimes we really do need to remove ourselves from these situations. But a lot of the times we are getting triggered over things that aren't so serious and they're just kind of a small little reminder of something that happened in the past. And so with that, you're able to acknowledge what you're feeling, why you're feeling this way, and then move on to the next step. The second step is to automatically start to soothe yourself. Whatever you need to do to be able to take that space to calm down and get back to your feeling of peace, that's what you need to do. Maybe you need to remove yourself from the situation. Maybe you need to lock yourself in the bathroom for 10 minutes. I don't know. You know what's best. I like to do things like breathwork affirmations If I'm feeling triggered in a moment and I've already taken the first step and acknowledge that I'm feeling triggered and maybe I can even trace it back to a previous experience, now I have to deal with the trigger. I have to soothe myself and maybe take a few deep breaths to kind of calm your physical body while you affirm the truth of the situation. Any practice that calms you down physically and helps you calm your mind down so you're not building up to explode that is what you need to do whether you like to meditate whether you like to do breath exercises whether you like to unwind and do something different maybe you like to do physical exercise a lot of the times doing some push-ups or jumping jacks will kind of get that tension and energy out so you almost tire yourself out physically and you're able to relax then from there you can move on to the third step which is going to be shifting your perspective this is where you're going to start to apply logic to the situation because when you're in the heat of the moment when you were just triggered and you feel your heart pumping and you're starting to like sweat and think of all the terrible things that have ever happened to you and 
it's really hard to make logical decisions. It's really hard to think logically. So first you want to acknowledge it, soothe yourself physically. And then from there, once you're in a peaceful place, maybe you're not happy, maybe you're not in a good mood, but you're not about to explode anymore. You feel a little bit calmed down. Then from there, you start to apply the logic. So this is where you're going to look at the other person's perspective. This is where you're going to change your own perspective to figure out how this situation could suit you, how maybe this situation is not what it seems to be, or you're going to start to figure out maybe you need to remove yourself. When you're applying logic to the situation, now you can decide with reason how you want to move forward. So if this is something that you need to address with another person, now that you're in a calm place, you've soothed your trigger down and you've calmed down, then you can decide if you want to have a conversation, if there's something that you need to figure out with somebody else. Or a lot of the times you'll realize that It was just your trigger and the situation itself, there's really nothing wrong with it. So you can pretty much just let it go and move forward. This happens to me a lot too. I'll get triggered by some little thing and then I'll get really angry. I'll go through the steps. I'll calm myself down. I'll soothe myself. And then once I'm able to think logically again, I'll realize that the situation's not really that important to me. I was just triggered in the moment and now I can just move forward. So maybe that's what it is for you. Maybe you just needed to calm yourself down and move forward. Or maybe the trigger is valid and there's some action that you need to take. But now from a place of calm, you're able to make these decisions. At this point, feel free to reach out to someone to support you. Maybe you seek out advice from a friend. Make sure that... (laughs) They're also positive energy focused on growth. If it's that one friend that you always call to complain about stuff or they always call you to complain about stuff, maybe don't reach out to that person because they may just make you feel worse about the situation. If you do seek out advice, make sure to seek out advice from a professional or from someone in your life that you know and trust is going to give you growth oriented advice not just criticism and make you feel bad about yourself or make you feel bad about your situation you really don't want to talk to someone that's gonna make you feel more annoyed than you were before that makes no sense i actually have some affirmations that i love to do just to remind myself that who i was in the past is not who i am anymore the things that have happened in the past It's no longer my reality, therefore those triggers, I'm actively choosing to let them go. And as time goes on, you will start to become untriggerable, at least in the same way you were before. So the triggers that you had will start to kind of go away. You won't have the same emotional reaction to it. Maybe you'll have different triggers as you grow, or maybe it's just the same triggers, but you just don't have as much of a reaction to it. That's the experience for me. I still have the same triggers, but I don't really have the same emotional reaction anymore. And when I do, it's so easy for me to just automatically reprogram it using these steps. And of course, all of the mindset work that I teach on my channel. If you're interested in reading more about this topic, I actually made a blog post for this video before I filmed. So if you want to read in more depth, the blog post has more details and more examples and everything that you can use to apply this method. Some things that I like to remind myself is this isn't me anymore. I get to decide who I am. Everything always works out for me. People are just reflecting old beliefs, and I am now purging them. I am now getting rid of them. I decide how my life gets to go. Whenever your feeling triggers come up and you realize that this is a trigger from the past, it really has nothing to do with you now today, it really helps to affirm those affirmations because it reminds you that you get to choose because you do. Even though something has happened to you and you have some sort of thing that you need to work through, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you and it doesn't mean that you're stuck in that identity. 
You can change at any time. Remember, the more consistent you are, the easier this is going to get. Don't give up. Don't feel like you have to give up hope just because you're still feeling the trigger or just because it's not automatically making you feel better. Putting in the effort to soothe yourself, putting in the effort to find a better intention and shift your perspective, focus on something new, that is the work. That is the result. So the more that you practice, the easier it's going to get. If you feel like you're putting in all this effort and you're tired of not seeing results, I invite you to apply to work with me. I would love to get to know you, chat, and figure out what your goals are. Hopefully, we can come up with a plan that will actually work for you this time because I don't want you to keep wasting your time. I want you to accomplish the things you want to accomplish in a reasonable amount of time. (laughs) Okay, so with that being said, Feel free to go binge watch the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.